everyone and welcome to my April's favourites video. Um, I have got a selection of things to show you. I've got some homeware stuff, I've got some clothing, um, books, um, I've even got some food items as well and some techie gear. So hopefully you enjoy it. So without further ado, I'm going to start with the homeware stuff. So I've got this diffuser which I bought um, a month or two ago. I um, thought I would show you it because I have just adored this one. It's from NYX. It looks really stylish. It's sort of got like an art deco style to it up here. It's gold. As you can see, there's basically nothing left. I need to go and get another one. It has lasted me a good while now. Um, and I can still smell it when I walk into the room. I have it in my living room, uh, stroke dining room. And I can still um, smell it every time I go in. So to me, it's a good quality diffuser. I like the black reeds. I think these look really stylish. Um, this, this, the fragrance of this, I can't remember exactly. I know it's Tonka Bean, and I remember that there was like hints of Proline and Rose in it. It's like, to me, this is one of my favorite scents. So I'm just gonna go back and buy it exactly the same one again. I love this. Let's set that there. Um, and then I have been sort of, um, redoing my wardrobe in that I've been getting brand new hangers. I've got these velvet, black velvet hangers and um, these ones are um, obviously like uh, quite big coat hangers and they are specifically for trousers and then I got very similar ones again and these are um, for tops. So um, I have in my wardrobe I just have ha been using store-bought hangers, you know those plastic hangers that you get. Um, never really thought anything of it and then um, I've just been watching YouTube, way too many YouTube videos of people um, tidying up their closet and all that sort of thing and I um, decided to invest in some slimline hangers like these so that it would free up hopefully some space in my wardrobe because it's bursting at the seams um, and they've done the trick and they look stylish so it just makes my wardrobe look a lot nicer um, everything um, like I say, it's 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 definitely I can definitely see that th there is space being saved with the hangers as well. Um, so I I don't even want to think about how much I've spent on hangers lately. Every time I bought these on Amazon, I'll link them in the video or below the video. And um, it doesn't seem that much. Um, at, whenever you just buy a batch of hangers, like I think I bought like what fifty of those to begin with, and then I bought probably about fifty of those. So probably about a hundred hangers all in. Um. I can't remember how much it was, but I probably, if I look back at my bank account, I'll probably be disgusted at how much I spent in hangers. But I'm really glad that I've done it, and I think it is worthwhile to do if, like me, you've got a lot of clothes, and um, you just want your wardrobe to look um, nice and streamlined. So I'll move on to food now. Um, I love coffee. I think a lot of us love our coffee these days, and I just probably in the past year got really into um, ground coffee, making it at home in the cafetiere. And I really like the Robert Roberts um, ground coffee. This one is an all day roast strength three, so it's not super strong or anything. Um, I just pick whatever is sort of on offer, but um, I like Robert's, um, Robert Roberts because it's a Northern Irish coffee brand. Um, I think it's actually, um, the address here is Lisburn, um, Lisburn, Northern Ireland, and that's my hometown. So um, I'm happy to support Robert Roberts a really good make it's um, a really good quality coffee and yeah I'm really enjoying that next is Kit Kat but not just the regular Kit Kat Chunky it's the New York cheesecake Kit Kat Chunky I love Kit Kat Chunky it's probably one of my favorite um, bars of chocolate I like the plain Kit Kat Chunky I love the peanut butter Kit Kat Chunky I was one of those sad people that petitioned to um, bring the peanut butter uh, cake at Chunky back because um, it was only on limited release and then I was like no we need it permanently and it is so um, and then they've brought out this seems to be the latest um, the latest uh, filling the New York cheesecake and it's scrummy it's so nice um, and I'm I'm a huge chocolate lover I, I eat way too much chocolate I'll admit that but there's just nothing better with um, there's nothing better than a cake at Chunky with a nice coffee. Another thing that I am hugely into is cereal. I could have cereal for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, some people think that's weird. I personally think that's totally normal. Um, and I like to try lots of 
new different types of cereal when when a new cereal comes on the market i get very excited um just as excited as when a new chocolate bar comes on the market so the curiously cinnamon isn't a new cereal but it's new to me because for some reason or another i've never bought this when i've done the shop i don't know why um maybe i've just thought it would be too cinnamony or something i don't know but i decided to buy it and oh my goodness it is delicious i can't get enough of it i just eat it dry sometimes too it's so yummy um so really loving that and i'll definitely be buying that on the weekly shop more often next i'll show you some techie pieces that i've bought so i bought um a macbook pro laptop case on amazon um and this is like a pink marble effect on it i really like it i think it's very pretty very stylish and it fits my macbook pro perfectly inside is really nice it's really soft and um, very thick as well so i know that the um, laptop is being well protected and then there's um, a little zip here zip folder and there's room for pens and little pockets there to put like notepads in and that sort of thing so really like this I think it was only like 13.99 from Amazon I'll, I'll link um, I'll link everything that I show you in this video everything that I can I'll link it down below and then I got a new phone case I like to get a new phone case every few months my partner Phil laughs at me because he just has the one phone case for like two years but I like to change it up usually I get um, a new one with each different with each change of season so for spring I've got this coral blue spigen case I usually always get the spigen cases that's s-p-i-g-e-n if you don't know um, just because I think they're very good quality they're well priced and I just think they're all quite stylish um, my last case was um, was transparent and it was fine but it just started to uh, look a bit grubby after a while but um, I like the spigen case uh, one I like it for the colour you can get a whole load of different colours in it you can get like mint green things in it which I was tempted by but I like it there's this kickstand so I can when I want to watch like YouTube videos or whatever um, when I'm in the bath or something I can prop it up um, and then I can also um, when Rose plays one of the games on my phone I can prop it up for using a kickstand so I really like my new phone case next I'll move on to beauty so I'm a big Clinique fan um, I've used their, the Clinique uh, dramatically different moisturizer for a long time on and off um, but because um, I love whenever Clinique have their like gift time so you buy like two products and then you get um, a lovely makeup bag and lots of um, travel sized um, items so um, I ended up getting a travel size moisturizer love this it's lovely and lightweight but really 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 moisturizing and the, one of the other little items I got was the um, chubby stick the Clinique chubby stick and this is in the color plumped up peony I think I'm um, saying that right but I got a lot of Clinique chubby sticks last year and really love them for spring summer because um, they're just nice and glowy and they're really easy to use and I really like this colour so I'm loving it I've been loving this this month another thing I want to show you is this Aveeno moisturiser probably lots of you have used this before but I've never used it um, I don't know why I don't know why this has been missing from my life but um, I actually got this one, this Aveeno uh, cream from the um, on prescription for Rose because she's just come out with a lot of eczema. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have an 18 month old daughter called Rose and her skin has been really, really wonderful up until relatively recently and she's been getting a bit of um, baby eczema in the, the, you know, the crease in her arm and behind her legs, behind her knee. So the doctor um, prescribed Aveeno and then when I was in Boots a little, um, like a few weeks later, I thought I would get the Aveeno for me. And this one is sweet almond oil and it smells divine. So I'm uh, really enjoying this moisturiser. It's like quite lightweight, dries really quickly. Um, it's just like the perfect everyday moisturiser for me. Now I'm going to move on and show you a few clothing items. Uh, April, finally, we got some sign of spring after a really extended winter period. So I have... Now I've been wearing um, this really nice grey lightweight quilted coat, it's very thin, um, it's by the brand Sicily, I actually bought it probably in the new year in the sale um, from my local Benedin store, I love the black chunky zips here and um, it actually, it's come away but it actually has this belt that goes around the middle which I quite like but in a way I, quite, I wish it sort of didn't have that um, and it was just plain like that but 
you can wear it without the belt but obviously then you just have the belt loops showing which kind of annoys me but really like that um, I think it's really stylish it's great for wearing to and from work and then for Rose her spring jacket is also from um, is from Benetton and it's this lovely navy colour with um, bits of pink through it, dark green and then yellow at the bottom and then it's got little popper pockets and it just sits really lovely, it's just a really nice jacket, sort of flares out the bottom and it just sits really nicely on her, it's a really good hood, it goes right over her head and it stays there, it doesn't you know, flop back all the time which is really good um, and it's just a really good fit on her. Um, I got this in the sale I think again in the new year so I was preparing for spring early on but I just um, I love to get clothing in the sale um, rather than pay full price I mean who doesn't like that so really like that and then I'm going to finish off and show you a couple of books that I've been loving this month um, and these are kids books um, so the first one is was given to Rose for Easter and we've been both been loving reading it. It's a Rod Campbell book called Oh Dear. I love Rod Campbell stuff um, and this book is actually a special 35 year edition one and it's a lift the flap type book. So those, we love those, those are great fun and um, it's just funny because um, Rose's aunt and uncle give her this and it's because she says oh dear all the time so when she drops something she goes oh dear so it's sort of like her thing at the minute. So that's a really nice book for um, one year old plus I think. And then the other book I wanted to show you is Shirley Hughes latest um, offering. It's called Ruby in the Ruins. Um, some of you will know that I'm a huge Shirley Hughes fan. She's a children's writer and illustrator. She's in her 90s now. Um, I've been reading her books since I was so young. My mum always used to read my brother and I Shirley Hughes books and now I'm a collector of her stuff. So anytime a new book or a new edition comes out, I'm buying it. So I got this from Amazon. I pre-ordered it. Um, and Phil is really annoyed because he usually always buys me um, a Shirley Hughes book at Christmas because she usually brings out a book every year. Like it's amazing. She's such a prolific writer and illustrator even though in her 90s. She just is a very inspiring woman. Still loves what she does and her work is still absolutely beautiful. I just love the way she de depicts children and the way she draws them. It's lovely. So this is a book that I think um, is very much based on her experiences growing up in post-war Britain. So it's a very interesting read. And it's definitely not um, for Rose's age, like one plus, it's definitely for a slightly older child. But um, I read it to her and uh, she's enjoyed looking through, looking at the pictures. So I recommend this to anyone who uh, loves a good kids story book. So guys, that's my April favourites. Um, I hope you've enjoyed looking through those. Um, maybe it's given you some ideas of things to buy. Um, I'd love to know what you've been loving this month and if there's anything that you think I should check out that you think I would like. Until the next time, guys. Bye.